Hello, everyone. We've already commented on the Dell Technology Summit, at least at a high level, uh, talking considerably about the attitude the company conveyed. I wanted to use this, I've got three really smart colleagues with me, to drill down a little bit more into the aptitude, in other words, the product and the portfolio that were discussed at the event. So first up, um, Bob Liberté. Bob, nice to have you here. Um, so with those questions, what would you like to cover from the Dell Technology Summit? My biggest takeaway was probably around their announcement of the Dell Technologies On Demand. We've all seen the shift in organizations using the public cloud, running production apps in there, leveraging software as a service. And now there's definitely a, a slant towards that's going to be a hybrid and a recognition that's going to be a hybrid environment, but they want to consume the technology on their own premises in the same way that they do in the cloud. And that is as a service or pay per use, et cetera. Dell Technologies On Demand provides a nice uniform approach to providing a, different flexible consumption models for organizations to consume everything that Dell Technologies has to offer, including some co-engineered solutions with VMware as well. All right, thank you, Bob. We'll come back to that in our general discussion at the end. But Scott, Scott Sinclair, turning to you, one of those technologies that I'm sure is gonna be consumed in this new fashion, um, and I'm just guessing you might start there, is, is Power One. But please, your thoughts on that and anything else that struck you from the event? So. The the, the key thing is really two words that, that stem from Power One, and that is autonomous infrastructure. What's really impressive out of this is what all the things that Dell has done within Power One to automate all the repetitive tasks that either create risk or, or cause problem or, or take, take time away from really the high value add tasks. Our lab team actually got a chance to look at Power One a little bit behind the scenes, and, and we estimated that it could decrease the opportunities for manual errors by up to 90%. It can deliver tremendous value to IT organizations. As, as much as you know, I'm infatuated with Power One, love the autonomous infrastructure, I'm really interested in seeing, is this a first step for Dell as they move forward, or is this something that it, it will just be one of many offerings? All right, thank you. And again, I think we'll come back to that in just a moment. I want to turn to the third of our colleagues, uh, Christophe Bertrand, sitting there. Um, Christophe, it's always intrigued me. It doesn't matter how cool the technology gets, how sophisticated the consumption model gets, you still got to protect it because it's data and that, as we all know, is valuable. So what did you see at the conference that sparked your interest? On the data protection portfolio side, things have been really, really good. Uh, lots of, of innovation with the PowerProtect software, lots of appliances and lots of options. So the technology keeps evolving. It keeps getting further integrated. And I'm very interested in seeing what happens with Power One you know, how will the data protection portfolio uh, be leveraged? Clearly, it's uh, part of the plan to in integrate it. So looking forward to seeing how that all works out. Um, I was very taken, I must say, with, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, the attitude I felt from, from Dell. Did you feel that or was I just uh, drinking the Kool-Aid? We've evolved from Michael standing up there with a box or a system or a laptop talking about specs to now he's talking about inclusion and things that they're doing to change the environment or things they're doing to change IT as a whole. That is a much better and stronger position for Dell moving forward. And I, I think that that ties right into that attitude conversation that you had of they're speaking with authority. They're speaking from a leadership position on where Dell wants to help really push or drive or help influence the IT industry to really leverage innovation for good and, and to really change businesses for good. And I think what we're really seeing here is the, the maturation of a lot of the Dell technology acquisitions and the ability for Dell to bring together all of the, the disparate parts of the organization to provide complete solutions. And so I think when you, when you think of that, it's really what enables Dell to come to the market now with a lot more authority and be able to provide and be confident in the solutions that they are providing. And the key is that when you think about where Dell technology spans, they're now able to offer solutions from the desktop all the way to the Dell technology cloud. And I think they're confident about the value they can bring and they're showing it. What about the obstacles? Uh, this, is a, this is a big ship. Um, they're trying to do some fairly... Uh, delicate ballet turns in some areas, but they're also a big blunt instrument. So what, where, where do they, how do they make all this work? 
So I think you have to look at uh, some of the numbers that were shared with us in terms of just the number of, of customers they have, how many transactions or orders they take every year, what type of, of engine do you build to manage that and what type of principles and processes you have in place to do it in a way that will meet those uh, big uh, objectives for the 2030 that they uh, laid out for us. Now let's see how they, they really execute. It's all gonna be about execution. Uh, if we keep seeing the same results we, we were seeing across the business, uh, that amazing execution across the business with thousands and thousands of customers and people, I think they'll be able to achieve those objectives. Right. Well, I want to thank all three of you for joining me. Um, we have the pain or pleasure of going to many uh, industry and vendor events. And uh, I think it's quite good doing this with a little bit of retrospect, a little bit of time has passed. But uh, yeah, we all left there pretty positive. So uh, thank you for joining me and thanks to everyone for watching.